Do you ever wanted to help someone but didn't feel like doing it? Well, scientifically you can blame it on your sleep this time. My intent is not to put the blame but rather to make you aware that sleep has enormous potential to make this happen. So let's try to understand that how a good sleep can eventually help us in helping others. Let's get started. As you all know and are aware that inadequate sleep can be linked to an increased risk of physical and mental health problems such as obesity, cardiovascular diseases and even accidents. Many have also reported that a lot of people have less than 7 hours of sleep which impacts our mental health and can lead to depression, anxiety and in difficulty in regulating our emotions. Whether the sleep quality or the quantity they can influence our prosocial behaviors. Research suggests that lack of quality sleep may reduce the willingness of individuals need to help others. As many researchers feel that if we get a good night of sleep and this is the best form of kindness which we can offer to ourselves and people around us. In many of these sleep research we could see that poor sleep has been linked to emotional deficit that reduces our prosocial behaviors. Inadequate sleep has seen a decreased activity in the brain's area which is concerned with empathy and also our ability to franchise our oaths. Researchers conducted three different experiments to examine the effect of sleep on pro-social behavior at the individual, group and social levels to evaluate the changes They used questionnaires assessing the willingness of these participants to help others on a daily basis and as an activity which might include carrying grocery or helping strangers with the directions. They assessed the helping behavior of the same participants on two separate days. On one of the days the participants were administered the questionnaire after being awake for 24 hours in the other instance the participant had a night sleep before responding to these questionnaires the results synced up with what was hypothesized as study participants showed a decline in their desire to help others after being sleep deprived this decline could be seen when the non social factors that impacted the sleep deprivation such as the attention motivation to engage in effortful behavior and mood were removed from the equations so what is happening inside the brain well Multiple fMRI scans of the brains were taken to conclude that the sleep deprivation is associated with reduced activity in the brain region involving social cognition while performing a social task. There was also a decline in helping behavior due to sleep loss and was positively correlated with the magnitude of the decline in the activity of the brain regions involving social cognition which means that the effect of sleep deprivation on prosocial behavior is mediated by the brain rather than the emotions well now you might be thinking that who is sleep deprived and why do we get minimal sleep in a day when we basically think that we get adequate amount of sleep every day to answer this we have another research conducted on 171 participants where they were examined on their natural variations to night to night sleep which had impacted on the desire to help others on the following day These participants maintained a sleep diary for 4 nights and were asked to respond to an online questionnaire after each night to evaluate helping their behavior. Here as thought it was found that a decline in sleep quality which is measured as the fraction of time spent out of the total time spent on the bed was seen to have a lower desire to help people. This means the willingness to help can be attributed to the quality of the sleep or the quantity or the time spent in the bed. Similarly, one experiment examined the impact of sleep on behavior in real world scenarios as they used monetary donations made to an online charity from the year 2001 to 2016 so as to see the influence it made on the amount which was donated to this charity. As this was examined whether the potential loss of an hour of sleep during the daylight saving time influenced the donation amounts and found that there was a reduction in the donation amount during the week of the transition of daylight saving time so many of us feel that the impact of insufficient sleep on helping was likely to be related on the changes in mood 
or empathy or the desire to act. Cultural factors and personality traits may also influence a person's propensity towards helping behaviors. But the impact of these factors can be hard to qualify. Regardless of any underlying factors, sleep quality and the quantity can be improved by practicing a good sleep hygiene and getting sufficient rest at time. So make sure you get a good night's sleep, a quality sleep over the quantity. And until next time, keep helping others and keep sharing. See you around.